Hello and welcome back to Mahu Kenshi. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And we're actually going to be starting with one of these side missions right here. I'm not entirely sure if we'll go for the Goblin Swarm or whether we'll go for the Cult Conspiracy. That sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? I'm actually not entirely sure if we can even play as our new hero here, but... I don't know whether I care, because I very much like Ayaka at the moment. It very much depends on what kind of play style the new guy has. Uh, but I mean, I, I can't really tell. Wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Wait a minute. It actually gives us a nice brief overview. The toughest of the Maho Kenshi, gifted by the Kappa with unmatched defense. He never hesitates to provoke or charge enemies, as he becomes even stronger when surrounded thanks to his spikes and area attacks. Okay, well, uh, why don't we go for it, right? Why don't we try out the new character and let's see what happens. I mean, we may very well be regretting this because it may be that Ayaka is just more well-suited to things like this in comparison to, uh, you know, uh, Kato, who might actually just be better at a certain kind of mission. Anyway, we need to eliminate 20 enemies and we need to do that within 35 turns. Okay, that's mm, that's pretty harsh, actually. Yeah, that is pretty harsh. You discover that many of its followers have been threatening villagers on a nearby island. Restore peace and get rid of this threat. All right. So we are actually starting. <laughs> we're actually starting right next to someone here. Okay, that's going to be interesting. There's a shrine very close by which allows us to destroy cards from our deck. I'm actually going to move over here real fast. Can I not do that? Can I? Yes, I can. There we go. Okay. I was actually just pressing the wrong button. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so let's have a look here. Deal 10 damage, unblocked damage, gain 1 defense per unblocked damage dealt. That actually seems insane. What? That, that seems in incredible. Okay, yeah, we're going to be taking that. Thank you very much. And I'm going to just literally use this against this guy. Probably going to kill him instantly. Yep, there we go. He is <laughs> automatically dead. And we can also eliminate this fellow, or we can try to eliminate this fellow as fast as possible, at least. Can't really do much more here. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, there we go. We can just do a little bit more damage. He did inflict weakness to me, which is kind of annoying, isn't it? Yeah, that is kind of annoying. Because now I will be moving back over here. We're actually going to be attempting to remove most of the strike cards that we have from our deck as I would like to be able to maximize the amount of other things that we have available. So we're just going to be removing the ones that are not upgraded. We already have an upgraded strike card, so we're just going to remove three of these. Can we actually remove three? No, we can only remove two. So that's absolutely fine. We will just remove two and then we'll move on. I technically could have gone over to this chest here, but I don't know whether I can really waste the time doing that. So we're just going to continue onward here. Serenity looks really good, but wait a minute. You must discard other cards to play this one. Right, how many? Two, yes. You need to discard two cards to be able to do this one. Well, it's kind of not that useful because we're not going to be gaining cards as a result of this. Although, mm, not sure if energy really carries over. That's the main thing. Anyway, I'm going to be going for piercing thrust or we could go for under pressure. Yeah, I'll go for under pressure. That seems pretty fun. And we now can potentially... No, we can't get over there. Well, we're just going to move on, basically. That's what we need to do. We need to move on and... Oh, look at that. I've been ambushed. How dare you? Well, that's not very nice of them, is it? No, that is not very nice of them at all. Okay, so, well, we're going to basically just... Hmm. I'm actually not entirely sure, to be honest. I guess we're literally just going to go like so. Going to gain some defense from this, which is pretty good not not too bad and we're just going to eliminate that guy we're going to use this so it doesn't do any damage to us any further i'm actually really surprised there we go yeah we've killed three people so far this guy's doing massive damage to us as well we're going to need to do something about that let's get right in there and let's try to eliminate him let's try to eliminate him as best i can uh we don't really have anything else i can do but i have 10 defense now look at my look at my defense yes He's actually running away from me right now. I am not going to allow him to leave. Thank you very much. I am going to pursue you, sir. Yes. We're going to literally just gain this. This is going to gain me strength because we are actually surrounded at the moment. Such an incredible card. Going to deal 15 damage here. 14 damage here thanks to our additional strength. 
Unfortunately, I'm out of energy now, so we're going to have to move the old-fashioned way. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, here we go. Draw one card, deal eight damage. First strike, deal eight damage and gain eight defense. Whoa. Right, that sounds pretty fun. Uh... Yeah, that does sound pretty fun, but we're, we're lacking card draw at the moment. So I'm thinking we'll go for battle tactics. I think that seems pretty cool. We're going to just continue moving over here. I actually have no idea what that is. That's an event. Okay. Hmm. Not sure if I should really do the events right now, considering we have a pretty, pretty hefty, uh, you know, cost that we have to deal with. Time cost that we have to deal with, shall we say. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need more movement-based cards as well. More movement-based cards are definitely going to be on the cards for us. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more of those. We are being cursed many times over, which is very sad indeed, isn't it? Anyway, let's just see if I can actually do some damage here against these guys. Yeah, we're going to have to go for this. This is going to give me some wonderful defense. Good damage here, but we're going to be taking damage from these. I'm actually not entirely sure if we lose health, even if we have defense with these cards. I guess we might... No, I don't think we are actually losing. Are we? Are we actually losing? I don't even know. Anyway, let me see if I can move here. No, I don't really want to move here. I can buy new cards in the village marketplace if we want to. Let's just go ahead and finish off this guy. This is going to be pretty easy for us to do that. There we go. We gain some more defense from this too. And we can also make our way through here if we want to. I think I will literally just go over to the event in just a second. Let's go into the marketplace first though. Because it would be nice to maybe get another movement card. Alright, okay. We're actually getting a little bit unlucky here. We're not having the ability to get movement cards however i would like to get another battle tactics card because theoretically if you have a decent amount of energy or generally a lot of energy you're gonna have a good shot at this Ooh, this is actually pretty good hmm yes i will go for webbed hands that sounds really nice because look at this prepared these cards only be uh, yeah so basically what happens is if I have used two cards with the prepared uh, affix, I guess you could kind of call it. Then you gain that, that ability. If you've used two cards, then you gain that ability, which is gaining one energy. And in this turn, if I, you know, if, the next turn, shall we say, if I use this first, then I gain two cards. So there is a, a conditional um, benefit to this, which is actually really amazing in my opinion. I love those kinds of things because that, that deepens the strategic layer quite significantly okay so there's the dojo right there there's an event happening here too but we do have to eliminate this opponent let me see if i can actually just get closer to him there we go okay we're gonna do some damage here i'm gonna need to uh i i think he's probably gonna move backwards right he's probably gonna move backwards so i'm actually gonna use my little dash here just to draw him into that area that's what I wanted to do. Just put him into that area. That's all I wanted him to, uh, to do, actually. So we're just going to do this. And then we're just going to play a bunch of these. Because now we can actually play this. Which is going to enable me to get one additional energy. Which is perfect. Because that means that I'm going to be able to get rid of these cards. Can get rid of all of those cards at once. Which is perfect. He's going to continue cursing me. Which is absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. Let's actually just dash over here. We're going to heal ourselves, and then we will strike at him, and that's 9 damage, which will eliminate him. And bear in mind, every single time you do eliminate one of your opponents, you actually gain money, which is really, really good, because then you're going to be able to upgrade some stuff. So, uh, yeah, I actually have no movement cards here whatsoever, so I'm very disappointed. So, we're just going to go into the dojo real fast. Let's see if we can upgrade safe travel. No, safe travel doesn't give me additional movement it just gives me defense when i upgrade it okay that's a little bit sad hmm what can i do here though what does this actually do what does this actually oh it reduces its cost to zero really okay that's actually kind of incredible yeah that is actually really really good hmm what about oh i can upgrade multiple cards as well okay draw two cards uh you know what i actually want more energy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for 
Webbed Hands Plus and Blood Flow Plus. I think that sounds like an absolutely fantastic combination. I think that seems pretty cool. All right, so yeah, we'll just do that. And then next turn, unfortunately, no movement cards once again. I will have to move over here. Uh, we're going to use safe travel to get over here. And here we go. We've got an event. As you walk through a dense patch of forest, you stumble across a dilapidated hut. A makeshift camp has been made nearby. Several of the camp's inhabitants panic as you emerge from the bushes, but their fears ease when they recognize your emblem. A stocky man with bushy facial hair steps forward to greet you. He quickly explains that he and the others fled from their village when the cult invaded the island. We saw them attack some of the townsfolk on the road a few nights back and leave with dozens of captives. We haven't seen them since, but everyone here prefers the relative safety of the woods to waiting for them to attack again. If you're going to face them, please accept this token of our gratitude. All right, so we actually have the ability to gain the fresh horse card, which, as we know from the, tut from the tutorial, I'd highly recommend actually for the developer to add a tooltip that that actually shows you what the fresh horse card looks like but obviously they're probably not going to watch this anyway but this is a, a good suggestion in my opinion at least because tooltips for this kind of situation definitely going to be more informative for the player however fresh horse card as we know gives us significant benefits in regards to our movement speed however i'm thinking that fighting at the moment is the main thing that is actually taking up the most of our time so I'm actually thinking of going for base strength here. And that's what we're going to do. We gain plus one base strength. Okay, so yeah, now we're going to have to get out of here. So we're just going to move along the road. And I will go... Let's actually have a look at the map. Okay, so we've got three bandits over here. That will take us to ten. We have twenty more turns remaining. Then we have a bunch over here. But this is going through the mountainous area which is going to be very tough oh yes it is going to be very very tough indeed so we might not have a good good shot there but if i continue to go along the road hmm uh this is a, this is a, a a huge bug bear for me okay yeah this is not looking good okay hopefully i'm going to get something movement based no i'm not getting anything movement based however if i discard my hand i do get one energy per discarded card can i actually use that right now yes i can there we go that's actually pretty perfect because now i'm gonna what why did i only gain one energy all right well, uh, I thought I would have gained three. Okay, I didn't gain three energy. Uh, that's, a little, that's a little bit weird. Okay, that's a little bit strange. I'm not entirely sure why that would have happened, but okay. Anyway, battle tactics. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then we'll do webbed hands. So we'll just use this and then we'll use that. And then we can hopefully move on in the same turn without us having to end the turn. And no, there we go. We can actually move on very slowly because of course we have to move through the forest we're not doing too badly with the amount of kills but i feel like we can do better and here we go this is going to be real nice we're going to be able to do good damage here let's let's pull another card and eliminate that guy can we get something oh hold the line yeah so it, it says here discard your hand draw one card per discarded card Mm-hmm. okay that, I mean, we should have gained many, many more things from that. Oh well, never mind. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Maybe I, uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I read it wrong. Actually, maybe I read it wrong. Anyway, let's just attack this fellow. Might as well just disregard this or discard this, should we say? And uh, maybe we'll get something from it. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get that from it. Yeah, not exactly the most useful, is it? Okay, um, yes. Okay, so I think I'll probably just move over here with safe travel. This guy's obviously going to continue attacking us, which is absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. And we're just going to be able to eliminate him very easily. And then we can hopefully move over here. That's going to cost me two, unfortunately. We could also use this, which I think we will. Gaining energy is pretty important for movement, just as it is important for combat. Let me see here. Do we gain anything in regards to movement speed? No, we are not. Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty harsh, actually. That is pretty harsh. Okay, we can charge an enemy. Charging an enemy might actually be kind of cool. Yeah, let's use that. Uh, it might be useful because we might be able to literally just use it 
to go uh, towards these guys without having to pay any of the movement penalties. I'm not sure if we can actually do... Yeah, I mean, as you can see, I could potentially move it. Yeah, as you can see, look at that. Oh, yeah, now that was some damage right there. That was some damage. I don't really care about the damage so much, but the, the fact that we were able to get over the water and ignore all of the movement-based problems that we were having yeah absolutely perfect absolutely perfect okay so i'm just going to be ending the turn here unfortunately didn't really want to have to do that but it needs to be done you know it needs to be done okay so let's have a look we've got range here of available armor breaker is potentially good but i need something that actually deals damage so we're just going to take under pressure once again we can acquire some talismans here maybe something that's going to actually increase my movement speed a little bit Gain two energy when you kill an enemy. This is absolutely perfect for us. So I'm probably going to be taking that. Because we're more than likely going to be killing enemies almost all the time. Let's do this. This is going to eliminate this guy almost instantly. And then we can hopefully do this as well. Webbed hands we can also play, but I don't really need... Ah, technically I could do that, I guess. I mean, we kind of need to, right? Yeah, we kind of need to. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got two bandits. We've got another event over there. I have six enemies left to kill. But the, the, the question is, where are the six? Okay, there's a huge number down here. I should have gone down there first. I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot, but it's fine. It's fine because theoretically what we can do is we can walk along the road here. We can kill these two guys and then we can come back down the road, kill these four, and then we're done. Uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to take us, however. We have 15 more turns. So theoretically, we should be okay, you know? We should be fine. So let's see what happens. I'm going to just move along the road here. This guy's obviously going to get into combat with us. And we'll use webbed hands. Should I even bother using webbed hands? I think I will. We'll just use it. And I will move along here. And I'll move along here. Going to get into combat with this guy as well. He's obviously going to get into combat with me anyway because he's a ranged character and he already knows that we're here. So, yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Mm, is there nothing better? Are you serious right now? Ah, okay, fine, fine. Mm, yeah, not a, not a terribly big fan of the options that I have here, but I guess I'm just going to eliminate this guy the old-fashioned way. Ow. Yeah, that's not very good can i can i get something better yeah okay i've got this which is perfect so we can just eliminate this and then we can use tidal wave to actually catch up with this guy potentially so that's exactly what i'm going to do and then we can actually do some damage to him i really wish i had more card draw <laughs> oh well never mind you can't always get what you want yes okay so we're gonna have to use three no we're gonna actually draw some more cards yeah there we go safe travel absolutely perfect wonderful wonderful luck right there for us and we can actually just eliminate this guy extremely quickly as you can see we now need four more enemies and we have 13 more turns actually not bad right i feel like we're doing pretty nicely here anyway let's go into the marketplace while we can and let's take a look okay so we can gain two energy but we do need to discard two cards i guess discarding the two cards is actually not even bad right now because if we're doing that you know, out of combat. I don't think that that's actually terrible. We could do the event. What do you think? Shall we do the event? Why not? Let's do it and see what happens. As you walk through a dense patch of forest, you stumble across a dilapidated hut. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's the same thing. And we actually do get the ability to get a fresh horse card. I will get the fresh horse card this time around, even though the strength is always something that I much prefer but the wondrous thing about this is that we can literally go like so over the mountains and we can literally just walk that way if we want to. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm also, I'm probably going to do Serenity here. And we're just going to, uh, okay, we need to move these in there. And there we go. Okay, so we're discarding those. And now we have two energy. So we're just going to move over like this. Hopefully I'm going to get a safe travel card. Yep, there we go. Perfect. That was absolutely wonderful for us. And now we can move on over here, get these, and get into combat with our next opponent. Okay, what's this? Gain one energy per five defense, lose all defense. Yeah, I don't really care about any of these cards, to be honest. I don't need them. 
I really don't. I feel very, very safe with this particular character. Has a lot of defensive measures. Is very easily able to take care of himself without any problems at all. We're going to have to use two energy to get in here, which I'm kind of sad about. But aha, hello, webbed hands. Oh, yes, absolutely perfect to get that. As we now have the ability to gain more energy. There we go. And now we can actually eliminate this guy. Nice and easy. Wonderful. And, oh, look at that. They're giving us safe travel. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. So, yeah, we're just going to use this. Get into range. We can actually even have... We could have used Tidal Wave right there if we wanted to. Uh, but, obviously, not really necessary, is it? No, not really necessary. Okay, so we can use Serenity here. Blood Flow. I guess I'm going to use Blood Flow just because. We're gaining 11 defense 11 defense that's actually crazy and we can also use curse of health if we wanted to actually maybe it would be a good idea to do that we can use safe travels to actually get into range here we're gonna use this maybe we can get uh, an additional attack card or something like that yep that's absolutely perfect before he's able to retreat or go and get some defense somewhere or another i think that seems like a pretty decent idea we can actually use tidal wave if we want to here right now or i could hmm you know what what we're going to do is we're going to move here and we're going to gain this see now this is exactly the reason why i wanted to get surrounded why i wanted to move in to this particular area so what we're going to do is we're going to attack this guy for massive damage because he had some defense so i wanted to make sure that we had a little bit of extra there and then we're literally just going to move into the forest gain some defense ourselves and i think that's it I, I, I don't think energy carries over so i'm pretty happy for us to just be attacked here and we're just going to do this gain six strength before attacking i mean really that is such an incredibly powerful thing and look at that boom we did it we actually did it with uh, about seven turns to spare okay what do we do kill three enemies or more in a single turn right so that was actually one of the challenges i was unaware of that did they actually tell me what challenges i, I needed to do before we uh before we went in there because as far as i'm aware i didn't see that was i being an imbecile maybe maybe you know it, it it's very possible let's just say that anyway there we have it we were able to achieve victory very very handily actually not particularly difficult However, you've got to bear in mind, we did have very little movement abilities. And I'm thinking that maybe Ayaka is probably the one to go for if you want to move around really, really fast. There is another side mission here. I have 150 crystals. Might make sense for me to actually do something. So I'm actually going to buy that upgrade. We can also, wow, look at this. All strike and strike plus cards deal one additional damage or add one talisman slot in castles if we wanted to do that. Hmm. I have no idea. I, th I guess I'm just going to go for the additional damage. I think that sounds like a pretty fun idea, right? And we're going to go for this other side mission. There are three challenges available. I, I don't think they tell you what challenges uh, you have to do or no. They just say seal the three corrupted pits. You must seal them all. They don't say what the optional things are as far as I can tell. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, whatever the case... Breath of the Tengu sounds the most fun, so I will be taking that. And this might be quite difficult for us, because you can see here we have to go to specific locations this time, so we're not actually, you know, allowed to choose our, our path as, as much as we were before, at least. Okay, so now here we go. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. So Ayaka has much greater flexibility in regards to her movement abilities so we're going to be taking windwalker here this is going to allow me to dash to all kinds of different locations we're going to go to the top left first i guess there's a corrupted pit over there i want to go to the i want to go to the castle to get the talisman shall we just go to the castle straight away let's go to the castle straight away there we go. We're just going to very quickly go over there, get the talisman very fast, and let's have a look. 25% more gold, gain two, 2 strength when you have less than half your health, and draw one card when you start your turn 
on a plane. Whoa, all of these are not that useful. I will take Oni's nail, but I don't think any of these are actually going to be that useful. I will go to the shrine, however, because I am over here already. I might as well, um, you know, take advantage of it. And we're otherwise just going to be getting rid of one strike card. Apparently only one because I don't have enough gold to do the rest. Sad. Yes, very, very sad indeed. And otherwise, we're just going to go over to this corrupted pit first of all anyway. And this is, as you can see, not even entirely bad. We should be perfectly fine to get over there super, super quickly. As you can see, one goblin has become aggroed on us, which is absolutely fine. We can eliminate this guy in one hit, as you can see. And we can also get... Um, we can probably get over here and... Uh, this is a boss, right? I'm pretty sure that's a boss. So we might have some issues dealing with this. Oh, seal it to stop enemies from spawning. So they actually spawn out of there. Okay, so wait a minute. If I, can I not, I can't dash over there. Okay, so that's actually good to know. So we're just going to attack a little bit here. And theoretically, I could go over here. I guess I will do that just because we have the ability to do so. And it's going to give me some defense. The enemy is obviously going to try and follow us like they are and we did have some defense from going in the forest which is pretty decent i guess that's okay and we are probably just going to deal with them yep this is actually really good um hmm yeah this is actually fine this is actually fine so we're just going to go over here get this card because it could be kind of useful okay yeah hold the line is pretty good as we've seen Deal 8 damage, increase by 7 per flying. Lose all your flying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for secret meditation here, I think. That's going to be extremely useful for us, or at least I think so. And otherwise, we're just going to continue attacking here. This should be a relatively easy win against this one. And then we're actually going to be using this because we're already enraged. So we're just going to be doing that and then moving over here and ending the turn. I was actually hoping that we could prevent him from going into the forest, but he was being very wily about things, wasn't he? Yes. So let's actually go over here while we can. I'm uh, going to just do this because I don't think we're going to take additional damage. Let's now move in here. We are flying, so let's go in here and try to seal the pit. There we go. There we are. We, we did it. We actually did it. Very nicely done. And that means we're now done with this. There doesn't seem to be a turn limit either for this. Oh, okay. I actually thought there was a turn limit. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go for Shout of the Tengu. I'd like to try and maximize that if at all possible. What else do we have here? Buy new cards in the marketplace or we can heal ourselves. I guess we're actually going to go and heal myself. I am flying at the moment and I'm just going to go on the mountain here because I'm probably going to get attacked by this guy some more or maybe not. No, maybe not. And let me see. No, that's that's two. That's absolutely fine. There we go. Okay, so we healed ourselves. Now, theoretically, hmm, you know what? I'm actually just going to use three just to go here. That seems that seems good. That seems good. He's gaining some significant armor from actually attacking me, which is very upsetting. Yes, it is very upsetting, but it's fine. It's fine. We need some more card draw, though. That is definitely something that we are going to need. And I'm just going to continue moving myself over in this direction. Okay, we've got another spawn over there. Just going to deal some damage. He's dead. There we go. And now we can go up on the mountain here. And then we can just go this way. I mean, that's the thing. We have no turn limit right now. So I'm actually um, feeling pretty good about things, to, all things considered. You know, I'm thinking, oh, okay, you know, we don't have to really rush too much. Anyway, recover four health when in rage. Recover eight health. Hmm. Could be kind of useful, but I think I'm just going to continue taking damage or uh, damage cards here. And there's some more goblins here. Buy new cards in the marketplace. I guess we'll just go into the chest. Getting some more gold is always kind of useful. And we are now being attacked by some of these guys. Yeah, th this might actually be kind of damaging, to be honest. All things considered. All right. Well, let's do this. And we're just going to get rid of the safe travel card. Because when you're flying, you don't suffer any environmental pen penalty penalties when you're actually moving around. 
So that is obviously something to consider. We're just going to eliminate this guy very, very quickly. And we need to go down here. This guy is a boss, as you can see. Kind of like a mini boss of some kind. And I, I guess I might as well go into the marketplace. I'm right by the side of it. Might as well try and see what's going on here. Okay, so we can get winged barrier if we want to do that. Or we could just get three strength, which would be kind of good. We could also dash two tiles, dash three tiles. I mean, most of these are actually kind of incredible. So you know what? Let's buy that. Gain fly, gain 12 defense. Yeah, why not? Why not? Might be kind of useful. So we're actually going to dash over here. And we're just going to do that. We're going to get attacked quite heavily in the next turn. But I think we're all right. I think we're fine. I don't think we can really... I don't think we can really die here. Or at least I hope not. We might have some issues, actually, all things considered. Okay, so we can dash once again, and we... Oh, we cannot dash over there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we can dash over here. There's actually a perfect place that I want to go to here, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go this way. And we can go to the shrine, because I'd like to remove some strike cards, if at all possible. So let's remove both of these. And we just have strike plus. Okay, that's actually perfect. Wonderful. Obviously, the way that you want to try to do this is you want to get as many really useful cards as you can get a hold of and reduce the chances that you're going to be getting cards that are not so useful. Did I just step on a trap? Or did they just poison me for somehow? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm just going to go over here. Hmm... Yeah, I guess I'll just... It doesn't really matter what I play, to be honest. All right, so we'll enter the marketplace, even though I don't think I can actually afford anything. But if I eliminate someone, then maybe it's going to be a good idea to head back in here. I'm not entirely sure if we can go back in, to be honest. Anyway, this guy should be taking some pretty significant damage from us. Bear in mind, there is a healing potion here too. And the healing potion is going to be quite useful. Let's move over here, get these cards. You never know what could be available. Battle tactics is always nice gonna take that that is card draw and damage at the same time and this guy seems to yeah this guy is actually a poison based character by the looks of things so that's the reason why we're taking damage here mm, yeah i think i can probably eliminate him relatively simply so we're just gonna do that there we go and then we can actually step into the healing potion which heals us for 40 hp so we're back up to full now unfortunately we weren't able to get to this particular pit before they spawned more enemies so that is eh, not exactly great you know <laughs> oh wonderful yes but what can you do what can you do sometimes you just can't do much about it all right so we're just going to attack this fellow and maybe this one and they're both dead. Okay, well, that was that was a lot easier than, than anticipated. And we can also dash here if we want to. But I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to play Winged Barrier. Because that does give me fly. And then I can just go over to the chest. I, I'm actually not entirely sure if I could have gone over to the chest anyway. And we're just going to go this way. And we're going to get both of these guys on us. Ooh, okay. That might be a little bit harsh. But we do have the defense from Winged Barrier. So I guess that's not entirely bad. And we can actually use this to go up on the mountain if we want to. But I'm going to do safe travel instead. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Vengeful Strike sounds fantastic. Probably going to be going for that. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna go to town on this guy as much as we can. I can't really do much more though, unfortunately. I will play this. Uh, I guess I'll just go over here. I I don't really know. I guess we'll just try to get further away from being surrounded. I think that's probably the best the best way that we can do it. But yeah, obviously they have. Uh, I mean, they have ranged attacks. You know, they have ranged attacks. So me going over there, not really that useful. But I can actually go over here and seal the pit, which is pretty perfect. And we can now just deal a little bit of damage and eliminate at least one of them. And there we have it. All right, not too bad. I am really taking a lot of damage from the poison right now, but 
That shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Winged barrier once again. I can actually dash three tiles if I want to. I'm actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here. Why not? I mean, do I have to fa face that guy? I'm not entirely sure. I, I mean, I've still got four energy, so theoretically, I should be able to just get out. You know, I, I don't actually need to. Uh, stay in any particular location i i think i can actually just move around like like i want you know however the poison is the main thing that we have to consider here i am taking seven damage every single turn as a result of the poison so that is very harsh uh might be a bit problematic okay so we're gonna go for vengeful strike once again i'd like the possibility that if we do take heavy damage at some point I will then be able to just murder something really, really easily. Okay, seven damage. I will use uh, rapid strikes. There we go. Nice and easy. And then we can literally just go into the forest once again for some more defense to hopefully reduce the amount of damage. Oh no, poison just ignores armor. Okay, that's actually good to know. Poison ignores armor completely. So yeah, that is a pretty big deal that is a hugely big deal okay yeah so i'm just gonna play this get over to the healing potion and we've also got fly now as well which means that i can get over here technically we can just go and buy some additional stuff if we want to but i think i'm just gonna try and avoid enemies as best i can here i do have fly available that's the problem though this guy right here is going to be continuing to come after me thankfully poison seems to have run out so i don't need to worry too much i guess but you never know uh, i don't know maybe, maybe it's going to be kind of important for me to be careful with it anyway let's move over here we'll try and take out this fellow if we can not sure if i'm going to be able to actually doesn't seem like it actually oh well never mind never mind it's fine it's fine we're just gonna continue moving this way i think i can probably if i get the dash three and a fly card or dash three and something oh no we did not get that okay that is that is very sad that is very sad indeed oh well never mind okay i guess the best thing i can do now is just kill this guy We'll go and try and get these cards, whatever it is, whatever these rare cards are. Well, they're not even rare cards, they're just regular cards. And uh, we can draw two cards. I think, yeah, drawing two cards is absolutely perfect. Although, gaining two fly could have actually been really, really useful. But drawing two cards, I think I actually quite like. I like that quite a bit better. So, that's what we're going to do. Yes, here we go. This is what I wanted. So, we're just going to dash over here and we're just going to get on that mountain even if these guys are going to attack me it's absolutely fine because here's the thing the victory condition is literally just to seal the pits so if we complete that then we don't actually need to worry about anything and we're we're pretty much done you see that's the that's the main thing we've got to consider here all right so let's make my way over here we'll do a nice little well we can't do vengeful strike unfortunately we're not enraged enraged at the moment but we're gonna try to deal as much damage as we can. Ayaka is so incredibly fun to play. I feel like, well, I feel like Kaito is also really, really fun to play. But uh, you know, I like I like her gameplay. I think that's what's that's what's currently going on here. I like her gameplay quite a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna eliminate this guy because I can. And um, we're actually gonna be just attacking a couple of extras here, just while we while we kind of just relax a little bit there we go let's just do this and we're gonna gain fly a little bit and then we're just gonna go back in here and we're gonna seal the pit because it only comes up once and there we go done wonderful not entirely sure what kind of challenges we fail to do this time hopefully we uh, oh master of speed and not on my watch so in other words seal two pits within five turns of each other yeah exactly this is what i'm talking about you can do this if you have Ayaka and actually get lucky with some of the cards that you're going to get. And that is one of the, the main, main points. Because if you are unlucky, you're not going to get any of these movement cards. But we were. We were actually lucky. I was just being a bit stupid. But yeah, win before six new enemies appear. 
that's also something that you can potentially do. Obviously, this has a lot of replay value as well, you see. It has a lot of replay value. If you want to be min-maxi, then you can very much do that. Unfortunately, I... Oh, I do have enough to buy one more upgrade. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, sure, sure, I will do that. And let's actually have a look. Destroy one, save travel from your starter deck. Ooh, I actually don't know whether I whether I want to do that, to be honest. Add one equipment slot. That could be kind of useful, too. All right, well, yeah. Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm currently missing out on 150... Yeah, 150 energy from this. And... You can actually see the challenges by clicking on this. So that's how you see the challenges. Because I had no idea how to see the challenges beforehand. But now we know. Now we know how to do it. Anyway, if you'd like to check out Maho Kenshi, highly recommend it. Super, it's such a super fun game. I could literally be playing this for so much longer. But I don't have enough time for that. So I will end this episode off here. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.